The next stop of the Southwest Florida Redistricting Public Outreach Tour brought lawmakers to Naples, where more than 160 area residents came out to share their thoughts and opinions regarding the once-in-a-decade process. I think it's a good process, and uh, I heard many people in our meeting this morning comment on the fact that they appreciate the meetings that are occurring because they're more of a grassroots opportunity for our residents to share their input with the uh, committee. More than 50 speakers addressed the 32 House and Senate members in attendance, providing specific recommendations on how future political boundary lines in the region should be drawn. Uh, personally, I uh, come from the East Coast where district boundaries are kind of funny, but uh, here in Southwest Florida where it's a lot more common sense, I think that there should be uh, three districts, as I mentioned, Southwest Florida, one in uh, Sarasota and Manatee County, the other in Charlotte and North Lee, and the third in South Lee and Collier, and in composing some interior areas and interior counties here and there as well. If we look at the State House map, you can see that um, House District 101 goes all the way across to Broward County and has a large portion of Broward County and a little portion of Collier County, and 112 equally goes all the way across. I'd like to respect that county boundary. The West Coast has a lot of different environmental, economic, and political um, differences for, with the East Coast, and I'd like to see that um, that kept in line. Um, I'd also like to see coastal communities represented separately from rural communities. Rural communities right now are facing uh, huge environmental um, issues and I believe that representatives that understand these rural communities would better be able to represent those people than just the coastal representatives. Throughout the meeting, House staff members were on hand to provide My District Builder tutorials for all attendees, showcasing how the map building software allows all Floridians to access in-depth population data critical to the redistricting process. For those Florida residents who were not able to attend a meeting in person, there are still many ways to submit ideas to the legislature, including various resources available on FloridaRedistricting.org, My District Builder, Twitter, Facebook, and blogs.